Hi guys, I'm Michelle Rock with the CalWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to be making this adorable card right here. And I did not attach the inside because this is actually for a shoebox swap that I'm doing. Don't you love the little sparkly boots? Can you see that glimmer? Rain boots. This is using the Dino Day stamp set and the new Under My Umbrella bundle which includes the Umbrella Builder Punch and the Under My Umbrella stamp set. So let's just get busy. Now, as always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're gonna find links back to my blog post with all the measurements and all the supplies for this card, okay? So no worries about writing anything down. So let's just go, let's get busy. Let's grab our Whisper White. We're going to start off with some olive green, or some old olive, I should say. Let's get our dinosaur good and stamped up. And I'm going to pull him over here on my grid paper so I can get him straight. I want a really good impression with him. Give that ink just a little bit of time to absorb. Oh my gosh, he's so stinking cute. So we can put that up. Then we need Mango Melody. That's what I chose to use for the spine-like things that run down his back. I'm sure there's an official name for those, and a young one could probably tell you what that is. I don't know, though. So I've got the camera in my face. We're just going to go with it. It'll be good. There we go. And then I need to use my, we can put this away. That was our Mango Melody. And then we're going to use our Stampin' Right Seaside Spray because I, he's holding an umbrella and he's standing in a puddle of water. And I'm just, and this is just regular Whisper White, okay? Because I'm just, because it is, it's just giving the illusion that he's standing in water. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I will tell you, this is the, uh, I'm gonna be using the Dino Roar paper. It's got the dinosaurs on one side and an abstract on the other. And on this card, it's running this way and I chose to do this this time. So we're changing it up just a little bit. I will tell you, I have a circle that I punched with my one and a half inch circle and pineapple punch. And then lovely lipstick is my card base. And those are my accent colors. And this is a one and three quarter, which we don't have that anymore. But if you have your layering circles, you can use those. So let's go ahead and stamp Hello Sunshine, which comes out of the umbrella, under my umbrella under the umbrella. Let's get that kind of in the center. I thought, oh, that's kind of like the sun is shining. Oops. And then I've got my dinosaur feet. And I just put a couple of them walking at the top and at the bottom. I thought that added a little cuteness. So we've got that done, and I've got myself a piece of Lovely Lipstick Scrap. For that, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my umbrella. Just do that, give that a good impression. I want it to be nice and vibrant. And then on the inside layer, we're gonna do those boots. This card is really quick. We all have times we need to send the kind of fun, make you giggle cards, and this one is perfect for that. So let's go ahead real quick and color these boots. It doesn't take but a second, but I am going to use the thick line is the thick side. So let's do that. This is also just regular Whisper White because it's a layer. If it bleeds through in the back really bad, I'm not worried about it. So just I'm just barely touching the tip. 
You don't have to be any kind of fancy color for this. That is for sure. I could have used Stampin' Blends if I had wanted to go ahead and uh, do some more shading. But I just went easy. Just went easy. And to remind you about our, the Stampin' Right markers, you know, they're a great tool just as well. Super simple. And because my colors are the lovely lipstick and the pineapple punch, that's what I chose to give the band and the sole of the rain boots. I want them to have a little flash. And I also wanted to make sure that they looked like they were in a puddle of water. So once again, using my seaside spray. Okay. And I'm gonna bring in my Wink Estella and I'm going to just go over the red part because it kind of gives it that shine like, you know, because a lot of them are rubber boots. And I thought that was cool. Now, if you do that, you're going to want to grab a piece of scrap paper and make sure that you take your Wink of Stella and get that off. Clean that off, all right? That's an important little step there. because We don't want to transfer that to our next color, that's for sure. All right, so we've got that done. Now, let's bring in our... Umbrella Builder Punch. And this is one of those punches that will punch everything at one time. So just line up the element that you're working with. There's my umbrella. Got that done. Get these other bits and pieces out of the way. I have just a scrap, which this is perfect time to use those scraps of basic black because I'm doing the handle. I'm gonna take just a little bit of my Tombow glue, just a little bit. And I'm going to take my handle and I want my handle facing away from him. So I'm gonna go just like such, put that on there. See if I'm happy with it on this side. And I'm gonna set that down, let that dry. And I will tell you that the pineapple punch, this background layer here, I used the layered leaves embossing folder, 3D embossing folder on that. And I thought that just kind of brought that wildness of those critters out. So why don't we go ahead real quick and put all these layers together while that's gluing our umbrellas gluing. You can use whatever adhesive you like. So we're gonna go ahead and put this layer down. Just like that. I'm gonna take the Dyna Ward Designer Series paper. And I canted that. It was a little closer to the top than it is to the bottom, but it, but I still canted it. Just make sure that your edges don't go past. Okay, then we can put our little dinosaur. He's a T-Rex. My fast teeth is acting ornery. We're gonna put that kind of right in the middle. Just about like that. That ought to do. Let's put our Hello Sunshine on top of our lovely lipsticks that we punched out. I've got another strip of lovely lipstick here. My stomach is growling. That tells me it's time to eat some lunch. And we're just going to put that across here, like that. 
down. We might as well go ahead. That should be dry now and put that on. My stomach is really telling me go eat. All right, now we're gonna do some popping up. So let's grab, I've got the bits and pieces of some dimensionals here. And I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna take and just go down the side and cut a tiny little sliver just a tiny little, tiny little sliver. That's for the handle, because I don't want that to collapse. So I'm gonna do that. And then I've got one there. And let's just go ahead and don't waste those edges. They are good. They stick just the same. So let's put that there and there, and we'll just pull off another piece over here, just like that. Okay, so let me pull those off real quick. And he's holding a little umbrella, and I got it kind of canted to the side just a little bit in his hand. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Love it. And then I put my little Hello Sunshine just kind of down here in this edge. Just like that. How adorable is it? Yes. And remember, we used the Dino Days and the umbrella. Under my umbrella, I should say. Oops, I got a little scrap in there. Punch, which if you purchase these as a bundle, you will save 10%, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.